Nitro, Rhino side. Always game to see high level Samus play. This is going to be a really weird matchup for Samus because Rebels guards a thing. So anytime you try to rely on projectiles at all, it's either coming back at you or it's bringing out the boogeyman. So you got to really kind of get into the head of your, your opponent here and make them guess when you are going to throw that. Because if they think you're going to throw out a projectile, it's just like, oh, well. I get the freest grab of my life. But then stuff like that happens to you and, and it feels kind of bad. Rhino Dude, however, is battle tested. Keep in mind, this is a best of three. This is just losers quarters. Nitro all night has been really making his money with this uh, gun at the ledge. Ooh, that almost killed. Tries to catch him at the ledge himself in the back here. Nitro keeps the pressure on. Ooh, right on the right with the jukes. Throws out the charge shot, and it brings out the Boogeyman, which sets up the forward smash, which puts him back on the Angel platform. I'm, I'm surprised he's throwing these missiles out. That that felt like a muscle memory thing. At that, at that distance, with Arsen out, that, that reflector is sending that one back. Charge shot does connect. Looks for the dash attack. Nitro with the maneuvering up special. Will pick up stock number 187.7. If he's somehow able to land a, a, a juicy charge shot dash attack. Oh. Almost got the tether grab forward air. It's going to miss. Sharks through the platform with the up air. Dash attack though. Pushes him off to the side. Going to get tacked with the gun. Or a tilt, keeping him honest. Rhino Blade, real squirrely with the up special. Oof. Just a tough matchup. Joker has a very fast move that fundamentally breaks the neutral game of Samus while also being a considerably faster character in terms of their normals. Three, two, one, go. You, you gotta be careful. Thirty-five percent already to start off game number two, Nitro putting in work. Rhino dude tries to get anything going. That gun keeps him back on the on the ground. Going for the jabs. Run up, Rebels guard punished for it. Arsene is here though. Forward air tries to go for the air. I do, I do think. Oh oh! Solid catch on the up smash. Catch him with the charge shot off the side. The attempt. I do think using the Zare more is important in this matchup. It's one of the quickest options. Oh, oh, keep your forward smash. I'm good. A wild forward smash from Nitro. He's going to catch that charge shot with his teeth. Catch for the back air. Just arson things. There will connect from Rhino Dude. Just starting to set that wall up. Ooh! That fastball came back smooth back air. No arson, no problem. Rhino Dude, real cheeky. He got that reverse, that reverse edge guard. That's an early stock. Worth the gamble. Loses stock number one. 
up so no no one there two higher risk options up special right into the forward smash does pay a little bit Uh -oh. Nitro starting to make headway again in these neutral exchanges. Oh! Rhino dude put himself in quite the interesting position. Does get back on the ledge, misses the back air, gives a chance for Nitro to keep pressure on. Fishing for the jab one. Nitro runs up, shields, look for it, looks for an option. There's the Zare. Charge shot goes through the dash attack. Smart Bomb's waiting for him. If the down smash went on, I do think that connects. Looking for the low angle forward smash. Nitro is trying to be real choosy about when he goes for that aerial with the bombs chilling there. Tries to read the forward aggression and ooh! Rhino Dude shows him the Pumas. Backward aerial. Up special. Rhino Dude, we saw this earlier tonight. He just consistently warms up over the course of the series. Is this what's happening right now? Jumps over the side B. There's a homing attack waiting for him. There's the parry. Sometimes you take that. The charge shot got absorbed, but he was able to get the dash attack off of it at 185. The work of this second stock. Ooh, ooh! Nice stuff there. Backward air, though. Sometimes you definitely like to frame trap your opponent and they're like, ha ha, I absorb, oh wait, you grabbed me for free, I'm dead now. It's a thing. Drops him with the neutral air, it's gonna get shielded, Nitro gets the parry. Arson, nowhere in sight. Forward tilt just misses, Nitro gets the roll, gets the offense going. 39.5 on the bounty. Well, not the bounty on it. It's Dark City. It's going on. All right. Nitro waiting it out. Gets around the bomb display. Up special will give Nitro a punish. Waits out the spot dodge. Gets a grab. Tries to go for the up special. Ooh. Ooh. Rhino Dude, giving him the horn. The counter pick, switch over to Dark Samus. Rock solid evolution of one's neutral game. Suddenly we're at game number three. I, I love how over the course of this best of three, like, the, the dynamics of the projectiles have changed. At the beginning, it was like a lose-lose for Samus where it's like, oh, if I throw this out, then it kind of punishes me or it comes back. And then last game, it felt like every time Nitro tried to absorb it or make anything happen, he got hard punished for it. Interesting dynamic. Up special. We have seen Rhino do go for a few of those. And he hasn't paid too dearly for it. Waits out the Zare, gets that one there, one and two. Shielded up. Nitro looking to keep the pressure on. Doing so much work on the ledge tonight. Jab one, neutral air. Nitro showing the patience, trying to snipe jumps, but Samus is a character that has a ton of horizontal mobility off stage. And, and, and stop. I'm tired of you getting hedge guard me, buddy. Who gets the charge shot and the up special? Screw attack says bag off. Nitro looking for the closeout on the first stop with the arson forward smash. Homing attack to his forehead. Rhino dude successfully waits out. Arson charge shot gets shielded down tilt. Doesn't connect. The full merit of that forward air rolls through. Rhino Dude trying to read the space and misses the back air. Nitro gets the grab. And is quick to go put the finishing touches on that first stop. Gets the lead. And rather than set up the campground, it looks like Nitro just wants the box. 
my kind of smash ultimate. Another up special. This Now, this one's going to hurt. It doesn't cost him a lot in flat percentage, but as far as giving up the stage X, Y, and Z, a lot of momentum. Uh, uh, hello? Rhino Dude is finding these sweet spot forward smashes. A move that's a good deal quicker than I think a lot of people will give it credit for. Nitro trying to be fancy with the movement. Catches an up air all the same. Looking for arrows out of shield. Arsene's almost here. This is going to be a make or break moment for Rhino Dude. How he manages this Arsene meter. If he loses the stock before it goes out, that's rough. Arsene is here. Sends him across the stage. Doesn't lose the stock just yet. Fair trying to keep him off. I like the idea. Nitro has been playing aggressively, but having to recover low with, a, with an up special that has a hitbox against Arsene, guess what happens? But look at the damage. Rhino Dude answering back strong. Nitro jumps over the, the bomb display. Runs up, shields, finds the grab, looks for the follow-up chase. And that's the 50-50 of this matchup. Nitro out there posing for the camera with the with the Rebels guard, and, and Rhino Dude's like, nah, like actually. I'm... Whoa, I, I figured he was dead. I guess with no rage. Figured the, the buff up throw would have been enough. Tether grab's gonna get interrupted. These up specials. I get it. If it connects, it probably takes the stock, but whew. Torment life on the line, shard shots connecting. That would have been big brain if Rhino Dude like threw out the homing attack and tried to beat out the the, the counter with the throw. Would have been worth. Doesn't connect though. Nitro trying to end it right here, right now, and it looks like he will do so. Nitro stopping Rhino Dude in their tracks. Great games, though. I really do feel like that's a hard matchup for Samus.